Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Married to Medicine, season eight, episode three. New year old feuds. <laughs> y'all see this big ass pimple? Oh my God, y'all, mm, these masks are driving me crazy. Anyway, um, so we start off the episode. I'm just jumping because the first part wasn't really exciting. Um, but when we get into the action, we get into Dr. Heavenly um, with the young lady named Miracle who was punched by the police officer during the peaceful protest. And this is like when, you know, George Floyd, um, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, I think I said his last name right. But when, you know, everybody was protesting and the police officer went up to her and punched her. Like, and you can go find that. But Dr. Heavenly flew her to Atlanta to fix her teeth. And, you know, Dr. Heavenly was just like, you know, I'm so thankful that you were on the front lines and this is my way of giving back and i i love that dr heavenly stated like this is the way that she's giving back because some people were discrediting people's fight you know i know some people that donated i know some people like me i actually went out and was in the protest um but everybody did what they had to do in different ways and that is the movement it doesn't just take one type of way to protest so i do really appreciate dr heavenly saying she's giving back to this young lady you know because the young lady was on the front line so now she's giving back that service but we're gonna get into some drama you know i'm filming in between commercials baby we got um miss quad talking about Toya House, you know, we've been wanting the tea, so hold on, shh, be quiet, we go, I'll be back. Okay, then we get, um, we have Toya and Anila. Toya um, talks about, you know, how tennis has become her thing in their neighborhood. Toya says she devotes five days a week, two hours. I was trying to figure out why she, Toya has lost a lot of weight. Like, if you haven't went to go see her Instagram, she has lost a lot of weight, almost like, I like thick Toya, thick, 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 thick. She losing that thickness, and I don't like it, Toya. I like you thick. <laughs> no, but, you know, getting overall healthy. And Anila, this is like Anila. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'll get this together. Um, She doesn't have to play, but this is like her first time. And as soon as we get out there, like, baby, if you don't want to be there, just say that. If you're just trying to fit in, like, maybe you need to find something else to get the child, like, all, like, because she was kind of getting on my nerves the whole time they were playing like if this is not like clearly you not really into the whole sports thing so maybe y'all need to find something else that y'all like to do together and where you can get to know the other people in the neighborhood because sometimes everything is not your judge and like you just kept wanting to go so that was bothering me um then we get Jack jackie and contessa they're at contessa's new office that she's um opening up it may be open already i'm not sure and, I, you know, she was getting her degree in public health. Um, and so she's, her office is going to talk about addiction and really treating the whole person. And she goes into talking about, and she kind of got emotional. And I can really relate to her, you know, that her dad struggled with addiction up until she was an adult. And had he had, had he had a doctor like her um, that wanted to treat the whole person, maybe he wouldn't have been addicted as long. I come from two parents. My dad is a recovering addict going on seven years, I believe. And then my mom, you know, suffers from addiction as well. So I've seen it on both sides. I've seen the alcohol, I've seen the drugs. So it's refreshing to see that this doctor is not only just trying to treat the patient, you know, with these regular diseases that we have, but really knowing that, you know, addiction is a disease and some people can't control it so how do we combat that and so i'm actually gonna look into her office especially with me you know getting my um clinical mental health license and all of that so good job contessa um then dr jackie and contessa um dr jackie asks contessa how is things going with Dr. Scott, which is her husband, and they're doing the practice together. And, you know, she was just saying Dr. Contessa is just kind of all over the place, like her heartbeat, like, you know, just she's doing this, she's doing that, she's doing this. She's not just focusing on one thing and just really devoting that energy. And something that kind of made me raise an eyebrow because um, in the last episode, I believe, 
Dr. Scott stated that they they stopped counseling, but Contessa said that he quit going to counseling. So that was very interesting to me. So he quit going to counseling. So Dr. Jackie said, are you still going? And she she's not going either. So, you know, Dr. Jackie is really trying to hold her accountable. Like, you can still work on you because you want this to work. You want y'all to work. And that she really just needs to focus on what she's going to do. I think it's always good, you know, to surround yourself with people that are ahead of you because you know dr jackie and dr heavenly already have their practices and so she asked you know picking their brain that that's the best having those friends around you that you can pick their brain and y'all can teach each other stuff so that you don't and that's true friends when you don't have they they're going to help you not make the same mistakes that you that they made in their businesses so i do like that dr jackie you know was very transparent about all the money that she lost before you know they really got it together and you know contessa was like yeah i remember you saying that and so she's taking all of that in keeping everything small and cutting a lot of those overhead costs so that she won't have a lot of pitfalls in her business jump back to anila and her parents are in town from savannah and um her mom just seems like she has this big vibrant personality um just her parents in general and of course you know she's trying to get the house ready because you know when your parents come you want to y'all looking raggedy why did i get my braids squirrel um <laughs> her parents um Make them comfortable. You know, when parents come, you know, you just got to be extra. Just kind of give us the background information on how her dad and her mom met um, back in India. After he finished his degree at Virginia State, I believe, he went back and, like, they had a bunch of women for him to choose from. And he chose her mom to bring back to the States, married her. Um, Karen came in and he just... <laughs> He rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe because I come from a big family and I know when we're all, and I have anxieties when this stuff is just like kind of, but he, I understand you probably had a long day, but it was just like, he came in and was like, ugh, gross. Uh, like, you know, cause things were out of order, but you knew they were coming. So you kind of have to mentally prepare yourself, I guess. Um, and he seemed kind of stank towards her mom. You know, she was, you know, kind of joking like, oh, don't you fix faces? You know, what can you do for me? And he's like, you know, I've done that for 10 years. Oh, Oscar the Grouch. Baby, baby, go take a shower and wash that stank off you. Because you ain't got to have no stank attitude. But he just had a stank attitude and I was over it. Anyway, moving on. We jump to Toya and Dr. Eugene. Dr. Eugene is getting off work and Toya is complaining about e-learning. And maybe because I'm a teacher, I'm like so over the parents complaining. You can comment down below because I got time to argue. Um, but I feel like in Toya's position, you you plan you plan ten you prioritizing ten is two hours a day. You got you got the luxuries. Like it's people that don't have anything, but you have a luxurious life. So my thing is. She's complaining about, I don't got time to monitor. Shoot, I don't got time to monitor. And that's my job. These kids are just not working this year. Like, I don't know what it is. People have sent their kids to school and they're still failing. They're still not doing nothing. And I'm not, I'm not catching COVID for being over your child's shoulder, um, trying to make sure that they're doing their work. It's just not going to happen, you know? And so... I say we just scratch this year, throw it away. We start again next year. Well, they start again because I'm not teaching anymore. But, yeah. I'm only teaching. That's my last choice. I, I'm over it. Then she's going to say, well, what if you have four to five childs? Eugene is like, you mean children? And, you know, she's like, don't correct me. But, sis, if you have four to five children, then you just figure it out. Like, it's killing me that parents are just acting like it's just and i'm sure it's hard because you may not know the discipline or the content that your kid in the way they teach we teach now it, it kind of can get overwhelming <laughs> if your kid just paid attention there's videos there's resources there's tutoring there's all types of things for your kid to be successful but kids are just on them com to computers tablets 
whether they're at school or at home and they're playing video games and like we're tired of fussing at them so like i get real testy on this subject because i'm i'm dealing with this every day so she's doing all this complaining and dr eugene seems to have just gotten off work and he came on home probably took a shower and he's cooking and even a little boy is like y'all are arguing at this point over food and it's just really like toya it seems like she's about to have a mental break just if you notice from the past few episodes because she can't do her luxurious vacations and all this that and the other and maybe because i don't have that lifestyle i mean i'll travel but i'm not going nowhere every month and i haven't been outside of georgia in over a year now because of covid and yes it's been kind of testy but you living in this big ass house you got this pool you got game rooms you got a community like you got all these things baby i'm in this one bedroom apartment one bedroom apartment my apartment's closed everything so ain't no pool what no workout what nothing you got all these luxury luxuries and you complaining when there's people that don't have shit, Toya. Like, get it together, sis. Because I like you, but you pissing me off this season so far. We have Anila talking about the event. I think it's called Rocky. Um, and it's about siblings, I think brothers and sisters. I'm actually going to do some more research on that. But they're getting ready for that event. Of course, it's going to be like an all-cast event. So everybody's invited. Toya is kind of salty that... Um, Anila invited Dr. Contessa. We jumped to what I've been waiting for, Dr. Heavenly and Kawhi. <laughs> Baby, Kawhi come in shading. I just, Kawhi come in and gonna say, um, I don't know why Heavenly got this big ass closet because it ain't the fashions that's in it. <laughs> Baby, y'all, y'all gonna leave Dr. Heavenly alone. Because all y'all fashions ain't the best choices either. But, you know, I digress. Um, Quad is asking how the girls been. Um, Dr. Heavenly says that Toya has been mean. And they kind of do the flashbacks of Toya in her drunken state. And um, Heavenly messy ass pulls out a phone. You know, well, she asked um, Quad how her and Toya. And Quad was like, you know, we're cool. Heavenly pulls out the phone and there's a video. And I, I kind of remember this. But Quad, uh, have, Toya's talking crap about Quad and Heavenly talking about, I forgot, I don't really remember the context of the argument, or, I mean, the context of what the shit she was talking about, but she did mention, you know, Quad little ass apartment or whatever. And so, um, baby, Quad said, you don't want me to tell you how... Toya got that house. Not only did she get a loan out on the house, but she took out another hundred k loan for the pool alone, and that she begged, borrowed, and stole. Begged, borrowed. Come on, Toya. So the tea coming about 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 Toya house. So is this why Toya and them having to sell or whatever's going on because they really couldn't afford the house, and then with all this COVID stuff and baby. Um, and she was just, you know, Kwa was saying, like, Toya just wants to live in a certain area code, drive the certain cars. But that's a lot of people that's out here in Atlanta. Like, people are very hood rich out here. Baby, people are driving Benzies, but they car note a $1,000. And that's just not, that's hustling backwards for me. That's just not going to work for me. Like, when I went in, I just bought me a new car. And, I mean, this is just a little Toyota, but it's an SUV. I made sure that my car payment stay low because I'm not flexing if my car payment is five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. This is not really working for me. Um, but that's how I, since I've been in Atlanta, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. I've been here about four and a half years. People are very about, you know, oh, what area code do you stay in? Or, you know, what you drive or what kind of job do you have? And people sleeping on the air mattress, but as long as they, it looks like something on the outside, then, you know, it's cool. Shout out to my nail tech. My nails are cute. Her name is Vibe Nails. Good luck if you can try to get her, because she booked, booked and busy. Um, and then we get to this Rocky event, so we're about to see this drama pop out between Contessa and Toya. We at the Rocky event. 
And Anila is just so pressed for Toya and Contessa to be friends again. And it's just like, sis, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Like, she was driving me crazy. Like, part of me wants to give Anila a chance, but then she does something. And I'm just like, I don't know if I have a feeling about you. And, you know, Contessa is telling her, like, let us get to know each other. This has nothing to do with Toya. Our relationship has nothing to do with Toya. And I'm okay with that. Again, we're not in high school. So just because you're friends with this person does not mean you can't be friends with this person. Like, we're all grown. You know, whatever. So all this drama, you know, they, they've been having this drama for the past three years. And I guess it re because of a freak. Like, they just don't like each other. Because you can't tell me that this is all over a Christmas situation and some shoes and nobody want to take off and contestant don't want to take off his shoes and I'm like um Dr. Simone like it don't matter they just don't like each other so any little thing is just gonna make it like this is just a big situation um and that she just feels like Toya has a problem with Dr. Contessa because she doesn't feel like Toya doesn't feel like Dr. Contessa respects her you know, if you feel like somebody don't respect you, then, you know, whatever. Like, Toya's kind of annoying me this season so far. And I, and I love Toya. Usually, Toya's one of my favorite cast members. But, you know, I love me some Dr. Dr. Contessa's body is banging in this dress, okay? Um, They go into the Rocky, you know, symbolism. You know, the they tie the bracelet around the brother's wrist. The sister does. And, you know, just signifying that, you know, the brother is going to always you know, have their sister's back. They're going to have each other's back. He's going to protect his sister, you know, even through adulthood, even, even if they're not together, it's just, they still like, I have your back. So I thought that was really neat. Um, and I love that they're grounding their kids in, or in the symbolism of their culture. And so that their kids can be proud of their culture. And it kind of makes me you know think about when mariah was on here and they had um, ramadan and it was the breaking of the um fast i think and it was the dinner and it was just it didn't come across some symb symbolic because it was drama um but i do feel like before the drama occurred at this event we really got to see into the indian culture and i think that was so cool like i said toya is miserable this season i feel like toya when they were all sitting she was just like basically why is Contessa here like she started it off and you know then it kind of you know editing but you know Anila took Contessa to the side and you know I want y'all to work it out blah 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 again not everybody's gonna get along so Toy is like this is some three-year-old shit Contessa agreed and you know Contessa you know you know like right now everybody's like in the world of COVID like it's just some things we're not finna deal with people life is short if this, I mean, this virus hasn't taught us anything, is that somebody can be here today and gone tomorrow. Um, and people have just been dying like crazy. And so for, you know, Toya to get upset and say, no, you're not going to hit me with that. My husband is a doctor. My husband see people. That's your husband experience. You at home. And not saying that you're not affected by it because you truly are because you are a doctor's wife and you, you know, trying to make sure he's staying healthy and y'all staying y'all keeping y'all's immune system up but she's also a doctor as well um just because she's not an er doctor doesn't mean that she hasn't come in contact and that covid covid has affected everybody and it has given people a new outlook on life and if it hasn't then you got life fucked up like you got some things messed up and you need to see a counselor because covid this did i mean the racial unrest all this if you woken you up and really have you reflecting on you and what matters to you the most and you knowing that life is short and that you got to do what makes you happy then you really need to reevaluate your life so toya's bothering me baby you dr eugene you know he don't even try to fuss with toya no more he looks tired like eugene is tired and he just don't have energy uh scott either he was just didn't have the energy and my thing is i'm sorry but contessa looked like she was body rock toya like my good Sarah will body rock her like <laughs> and it's sad but just contessa scared me a little bit she fine though i'm gonna keep seeing it and then i was dead at anila mama trying to hold contessa and you know when i like don't hold especially when you mad and you upset and you're trying to leave don't touch me because 
you know, things can get misconstrued as you, you know, trying to feel the fire. And so we'll get into that next week. You know, Anila felt like um, Contessa disrespected her mom, but you know, Contessa had to tell her like, we don't do that. Like, don't when don't touch in our culture in the black. Like, you not gonna touch me and keep holding on to me. And I'm telling you to let me go because it's making me even more upset. Um, and then I, Anila was upset because Contessa wanted to leave. So you rather her stay and then just continue. Y'all wasn't going to get anywhere. How can she come to my event and just leave like this? Because it's drama. Like, so, Anila, that, like, you, you, I'm trying to like you, but you will do something where I do like you, then you, I, This was season eight, episode three. Um, next week, let's get into some more trauma with Toya. Toya seems to be, like, the catalyst of the season, like, the drama person. So, Thank y'all for watching. I am going to put in a clip of um, me going to um, Blaze Steak and Seafood, a uh, candy and Todd's restaurant. Um, the full review will probably be up this Wednesday or Friday at the latest. And make sure, <laughs> I'm going to try to put like a little sneak peek, but make sure you wait and you subscribe and you check out that video to see, are you going to go check out the restaurant or not? Comment down below. I love you all. Bye. This is one of our private rooms. It seats about 12 people. And then we have a bigger private room here as well in the back. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll get your That's really nice. Okay.